everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me and Lavinia Stamps. And the theme for the creative challenge this month is From Me to You. So here I've created something really simple and cute with Rory and Darcy saying, with love, from me to you. When my kids were little and for Valentine's Day, I used to make them a card. And I think something like this would be really very suitable, simple and striking. So the colours that I'm going to be using, I've got picked raspberry and spun sugar in distress oxides. The stamps that I'm going to be using are the small version of Rory and Darcy. So they come in two sizes. One's a larger. I'm using the smaller set today. One of the sentiments from Heartfelt Verses and then from the pound range, the single heart. I've got a stencil in the background and that one, I chose Glory for this one. But any of the gorgeous Lavinia stencils will do. I'm going to apply my ink with my smoothie and I am stamping with Nocturne. So we will get started. I'm starting with an A6 card. So an A6 card and then fortunately I have a one and a half centimetre punch. No, that's a one and a half inch round punch. And I've just punched three holes at various intervals on the front of my A6 card. Now, if you don't have a punch, we've got hundreds of little items in our craft room. Look, there it is, it was just on my desk. We could use that. You could use one of your stamping blocks, your spritzy bottle to draw round and then cut out your circles. So that's what we're gonna start with. I'm then going to place this down like this on my mat. And I'm just gonna tape this back piece off. Lay my lovely stencil down. So I'm putting my tape there so that I, if I go over the edge, when I pull this tape away, I'll have a nice crisp edge and I am doing it as opposed to doing it, the stenciling with it folded over because otherwise you'll stencil through your holes. So I'm going to take spun sugar because it's a lovely lovely pink and I'm just going to apply this ink all over the front of my card. So through the stencil, you can use a stencil brush for this, it would work just as well. So there you've got your front. How quick and easy was that? If you didn't feel comfortable just holding the stencil, please feel free to tape it down. That's great. Now, we're going to take a plain piece of card, anything, and I've just... So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the background, then we're going to cut it to size, and then we will stick it down. Okay, so I just took a strip. And I'm going to put it behind the front panel of my card. And then I'm going to take a pencil and just draw the circles so that when I take it out, I know where I'm going to stamp my little Rory Darcy with love. So that's the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp because I know exactly where I'm going to stamp it now. I'm going to stamp this one here. Lovely. Then I'm going to stamp Rory and Darcy. 
pressed a bit hard there so that width is smudged a bit. So that come out beautifully crisp, as they always do with Nocturne. Then I'm going to take my eraser and I'm just going to erase the lines. So there you can see how it's going to come together. Now what we're going to do, like on the original, I'm going to go around the edges to darken it and then around the centre of my little circles. For that, I'm going to use my smoothie the whole time. I'm going to pop my little bit of tape back in. This is where I'm going to use my picked raspberry now. So you can see by doing that how much more of an, a frame you've given that circle. So there we have our little outside of the card. And if we bring this other piece of card back in, then we see how the thing can come together. Now, you can do this two ways. You can either glue this piece of card exactly to the edge of this frame, or you could use sticky fixers like 3D pads to raise this front piece up. I did for mine, I stuck it straight to the card and that's what I'm going to do this one as well. So the way I did that was that I just put my glue all around the edge through the little circles the joining bits here because you don't want it to lift around the edge of that circle. And then we're just going to pop this in place. Gonna get another piece of paper to make sure that I catch it all the way across the card. Lovely. Right, I'm gonna go and chop this off on my guillotine and I'll be back with you in a second. And then I'm just going to round the edges with my corner rounder punch. And then finally, the last thing that I'm going to do is pop some enamel accents or you can use liquid pearls or some glitter to just add a bit of extra interest. So I followed the line across one of these stems, just giving three dots somewhere around about here. And I'll do three dots along this stem. 
over here. And there you have it. Rory and Darcy and me this February time with love from me to you. Bye for now.